Hello everyone, Chess Twins here. Here we have a difficult but visually pleasing chess puzzle made by Russian chess grandmaster Alexander Petrov in 1824. It's called The Retreat of Napoleon from Moscow. If you solve this puzzle, you can get a sense of why it was called this. I will also explain at the end of this video. So here it is checkmate in 8 moves, white to move. Take a minute, pause the video, and see if you can find the checkmate in 8 move sequence. Okay, so the solution is knight to b5 check. Now the king is forced to move to b8. There are no other options. And white plays knight to a6 check, which is another knight check. Again, black has no other options, and black has to move king to c8. Knight to a7 check, yet another knight check. The king has to go to d7. Again, no other option, and I think you start to see the pattern here. White plays knight to b8 check. Again, the king is forced to move, goes to e7, knight c8 check, forced to move to f8, knight d7 check, king g8, knight e7 check, king h8. And at this point, we need the help of our king and queen, which have been stuck at the corner of the board. A simple king move should do the trick, and king g2 is checkmate. King to g3 is also an alternative. Overall, the black king made a trick from the a7 square all the way to the h8 square. Just by the power of white's two knights. Metaphorically, the black king represents Napoleon, who made this famous retreat or to the h8 square in 1812. The knights are often associated with cavalry, and they metaphorically represent the soldiers who pushed Napoleon away into the corner, or out of Moscow, or away into the h8 square. The original puzzle, when it was published by Grandmaster Alexander Petrov, looked like this. The king or Napoleon would make a tree from the b1 square all the way to the h8 square, due to the cavalry or white's knights. However, it actually isn't forced since white can find a quicker checkmate along the journey. But Petrov's point was to make it visually pleasing and to show the power of the knights. So in this case, the original puzzle, the solution is knight to d2 check. King is forced to move to a2. Knight c3 check. King to a3. And white continues by playing knight to db1 check. However, at this point, it was actually mate in 5 for white, but the original puzzle asks the solver to use the power of the knights as they symbolically represent the armies pushing back Napoleon. And the mate in five line is actually knight b5 check, king b4, c3 check, king takes knight, bishop d3 check, knight c4, bishop takes knight, king a5, followed by queen a8 checkmate. But anyways, going on with the puzzle, knight b1 check, king moves to b4, knight a2 check, king to b5, Knight a3 check, king to a6, knight b4 check. Now, queen to a8 was actually checkmate, but again, to keep the puzzle accurate with real life history, we can only use our knights as they are our, our cavalry pushing away Napoleon. So, knight b4 check, king a7, knight b5 check, and again, this is a familiar sequence that we went over in the beginning of this video. King b8. Knight a6 check, king c8, knight a7 check, king b7, knight b8, king e7, knight c8, king f8, knight d7, king g8, knight d7, king h8, and moving the king over to deliver checkmate. Hope you guys enjoyed this puzzle. There's a lot of interesting history tied to it, and we'll see you guys later.